Uh, Paramount Plus, which I don't have Paramount Plus. Um, I first saw this on Bloody Disgusting. I wasn't even aware that there was going to be a new chapter in uh, Pet Cemetery. <laughs> Have you seen Pet Cemetery? I've seen the new one, but yeah, it's, it's, no, it's not my cup of tea. It's 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 a weird it's a weird. Uh, it's Stephen King, so of course it's yeah. strange. Um, I I liked the new one. I actually think I liked the original a little bit better. Um, the original is a little bit creepier. Um, but Jeff Bueller, who who wrote the two thousand re- not nineteen remake is writing a new adaptation for Paramount Plus. Lindsay Beer is co-writing. She's directing the project. Um, and, you know, a lot of people were like, it's a prequel. There were a lot of reports early on that said this thing is a prequel. They're doing a prequel to Pet Cemetery, which first let me say, I don't know how, how would you do a prequel to Pet Cemetery? I mean, I don't, you know, I, I, I get that it, you can have different sequels, uh, you know, Obviously, he wrote a sequel to The Shining with Dr. Sleep. You know, there are a few uh, properties that Stephen King has where you can write a prequel, you can write a sequel. But Pet Cemetery is one that I don't really get where you would go. Uh, and it seems like the, 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 the plot's direction and where the story is going is very ambiguous right now. Um, so Deadline had originally reported and said, even though early sources said that this would be a prequel, sources now say the plot's direction is still being figured out and a prequel is not guaranteed at this time. So I guess it could be a sequel. Uh, I don't think they would do a remake because that 2019 remake is too fresh. It's not, yeah. it's, it's hasn't been out for very long. Um, and again, I, I liked it. I thought it was good, but it wasn't. I, it wasn't quite as good as the original. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who I saw that with, but I know I saw it in the movie theaters. I, I thought I didn't see it with odd. you because I saw that with I think just Julia and I went and saw that together. I don't think I saw it with you. I don't know if you were with us or not. I think we did. Were yeah? I remember. I remember, I remember being tagged. I, I remember being tagged in your in your shit on Facebook. I don't remember. Maybe you were. Bradley is um, at the Richmond Cinemark, <laughs> and it'll show the movie. Right. Um, yeah. You know, for me, I, I don't, I know we're kind of living in the world of doing prequels or sequels to the original. Look at what they're doing with Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Scream is getting a sequel to the original. Uh, there, there's a whole bunch of different franchises that are getting, horror franchises specifically, that are getting sequels directly based on the original. They're doing away with all the other sequels that came in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s. Yeah. Um, so, like, you have, uh, you have Halloween with Michael Myers. You have Scream, and then you also have uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. With, yep, uh, Texas Chainsaw is another one, which we've with, done a few uh, videos about that too. Leatherface. With, uh, Leatherface, yeah. Oh, look, I remember the name. I know. You're going to get shit again for uh, – Miguel got shit on one of our other videos for not um, for not remembering Leatherface's well, name. What did I call him? I called him Texas Chainsaw Massacre yeah. guy. And guys, look, I'll say, I'll say it again. Look, I literally – hated horror movies when i was young so i didn't grow up with it like rat again I, when i was renting movie theater renting movies at the blockbuster i would literally run past a horror movie with my eyes like this like i hated horror movies i love them now and i'll I'm, i would love i like catching up with some of them now. i'm slowly converting I'm so him. yeah he's slowly converting me so apologies if i forgot his fucking name i love you whoever the fuck said that but yeah, that was that was a that was a that was a gut punch. Yeah. Thing. dude, yeah. we got a good we had a good laugh out of that. I'm yeah. I'm glad you, you commented that because yeah, I read you, it and I was I was at work and I like I saw it on my phone and I started cracking up. It was hilarious. Yeah, um, my bad guys. I'll I'll just say that I'll, I'll remember the, his name, the Leather Texas guy. Chainsaw guy. Uh, yeah. So you know, my big question here is: Do we need another Pet Cemetery film? Like I know they've done a sequel. But my thought is, where are you going to go? Like, the first film does a good job of keeping it kind of ambiguous. Um, 
you know, uh, when my when opinion, he when he realizes good with the with these horror movies, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like I like to keep it a mystery still. Yeah, it's but it but with Pet Cemetery, whenever at the end of Pet Cemetery, it's like it's kind of left up. It's like kind of interpretation, if I'm not mistaken. And it's like yeah. I'm okay with that. It kind of but and whenever you make a sequel, it's like well, you're kind of like throwing it out the window now. Yeah. Well, when he first buries Church and Church comes back, uh, it, it's kind of like, holy shit, what is going on right now? And then when he, it's like his descent into kind of like going crazy. And obviously, when something comes back after you bury it in the pet cemetery, it's an, it's kind of like it's like an evil version of itself. Um, and there, there's kind of a level of ambiguity and mystery behind that because you're kind of like, uh, why is that happening? What? what is- so, what I don't want them to do, if they want to tell another story and play around in that world, cool. But I don't want to see them explain the mystery behind the pet cemetery and why they come back and why it. I just. I think if you're if you have an MCU movie, it's okay to you have to explain, you have to fill in the gaps. But especially for horror movies, you don't need to know every single reason why. You don't need to fill in every single gap. It's okay to have a little bit of ambiguity and mystery behind something. Yeah, it's like a good it's like a good like a scary villain is like someone that you don't know what they're intentions are, so you can't really bargain with them. Like you right. said with Michael Myers is like no one like okay his was kind of kind of explained but like if you would have kept it unexplained it would have made him way more scary well and i mean especially with this new timeline you know obviously in rob zombies it kind of explained things uh we had the cult of thorn stuff and h6 and like where it went which you you have no idea what i'm even talking about because again miguel's not caught up on all the halloween movies which i'm gonna change that and we're gonna have a great time in our pants yeah Uh, but you know with this main timeline, I mean, if you look at Michael, there's no motive to why he does what he does. And there's also, he rides that supernatural line. Is he human or is he not? Is he human or is he not? Mm-hmm. Because of how much he can take. Uh, and the the ambiguity of that and the fact that that's a mystery and you don't know, like, how did he survive the, the first night, let alone being burned alive in a house, being shot, being stabbed? How is he surviving all of this? Um, and again, the same thing with the pet cemetery. Getting his ass it, kicked by, by uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> uh, no, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Jesus, what's his name? The rapper. Here we go again. Yeah, what's his? I forgot his name. LL Cool J. Jesus or Busta Rhymes? Busta Rhymes. Okay. I saw a clip of it. I was. I wanted From to Resurrection. Like, watch the movie. Yeah, I wanted to watch the whole movie, but whenever uh, you my kept least talking favorite about movie it, in the I was franchise. like. We need, I need to watch it, and by far hilarious as hell. What did he say? He said, "He said Happy Halloween, bitch." No, like, oh, he's he yes. went. He goes trick or treat, motherfucker. <laughs> That's what he says, and then he like spin kicks him uh, off into. I mean, it's just I, that is the worst movie in the entire franchise. <laughs> Like, yeah, if you're but, a hardcore Halloween fan, like, that's one poster I don't have. I don't have a Resurrection poster, but it's it okay. Was still, it was still a great moment for you to watch. It's that my was... least favorite in the franchise, but... So I'm sure it. the movie sucks, uh, but that's... I mean, fair. all of that to say, I, I don't I don't think they need to go back and explain the Pet Cemetery and explain why everything is the way it is. Just leave it alone. Like, keep it ambiguous, keep it a mystery, keep it weird and strange and crazy, Which is the world that Stephen King lives in, and I think that's part of the reason that Stephen King's novels and his films are so good. It's because there is a level of ambiguity to it. It doesn't make sense. It seems weird and strange, uh, and that makes it scary. I think things are scarier when you don't understand it. If you explain every single little thing, it's kind of like, well... Your brain starts to formulate like, well, how do I get around this? How do I, how do I defeat this character? How do I get around this? How do I, fu-? you know, it, 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 you start to rationalize. And when you have a horror movie and when you're trying to scare people, you don't want them to rationalize. You want to catch them off guard. You want them to feel fear. And if you yeah. explain it, then it goes out the window. The fear goes Michael out the Myers. window. You're it, there's no ambiguity anymore. So mm-hmm. I'm excited for a pet cemetery project, but. I don't know. Well, first of all, I don't have Paramount Plus, so I probably won't be watching it unless it goes theatrical or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but I just I hope they don't explain too much and go in some weird place. That what they don't I, need what to I'm go. getting, yeah, what I'm getting is like you as a horror fan, it's like you're excited for the movie, but you also don't want you don't want that explanation because it yeah. takes away from the horror aspect. Yeah, you don't you don't need the explanation. It's it's yeah. not needed. It's not uh, it's not essential to the uh, to the storyline. So I mean, guys, let us know what do you think. Uh, do you think we need another Pet Cemetery film or not? Do you think they should just leave the franchise alone as it is? Because again, I believe this will be uh, tied into the original film, not the 2019 remake, not the original sequel, the original film itself only, exclusively. So we'll find out. We will th- find out. I think it'll be an interesting, interesting one. I think it's yeah. interesting how all these mo- horror movies are making sequels to the original and mm-hmm. they're just throwing all of these other ones out the window, which makes sense on when, when well, I think about it, it kind of makes sense. Cause all the sequels from all these other horror movies, which by the way, you horror, you horror fans, you love them so much. Like you love all, you love all of these uh, horror franchises. And then you have like all of these like really shitty, like sequels. It's like, yeah, I'm not going to watch any of them, but it like, it's kind of interesting how like, it's throwing away all of those sequels throughout the yeah. 60s, 70s, and 80s. Well, I think we, we live in a world, again, where people are trying to rationalize it and people are trying to modernize it a little bit. And they went so buku crazy mm-hmm. with the the directions that some of these stories went. You almost have to kind of reel it in a little bit in order to keep it real, to have kind of a realism approach on it, you you mm-hmm. have to reel it in just because it's been so kind of wild and crazy. Um, yeah. And I, I think Scream will be a sequel. I don't think Scream is a, a reboot of, you know, it's going to be a direct sequel to the original. I think this is, it's now it's just called Scream, just like Halloween 28. We call it Halloween 2018. Um, but it's Halloween. The title was just Halloween. They just called it Halloween. Um, this is going to be called Scream the same way that uh, the original was called Scream um, in 1995 or six or whenever that came out. Um, but it'll be interesting. The horror fan in me is excited to see where that goes. Yeah. So.